Okay, today in Illustrator, we're going to be learning about uh, strokes and a lot of different color options and live paint and even some uh, textures. But first of all, open this file. It says Blamo from the class website. You can download these files. Click on one of the stars. Um, and whenever you open up a new document, what's the first thing you should hit? The green little arrow right there. Hit that green little arrow to maximize your workspace. Then hit Command Zero so it's like adjust justified and adjusted to maximize it. Okay, click on the star, and we're gonna choose a color for the star. What color is the hottest color in the star? Blue. Blue. But this star is not hot. It is yellow. So just choose pure yellow. And we're going to change the stroke to 4. Now instead of a straight line, go ahead and click on the stroke button. And we're going to choose dashed line right here. Dashed. See dashed line? And so it gives it a little dash feature. Now go ahead and click on the other stars. Holding on the shift key, you click, click, click. And let's say we want the same exact style as the other one. Um, go ahead and hit the letter I as an igloo or it's the eyedropper tool right there and click on the star on your first star that you made and it's automatically gonna make it. In Microsoft Office what does this remind you of? Yes, Format Painter. Okay, now click on Blamo and go to Window Appearance. Now with the Window Appearance tab on the right side we're going to go to Add New Fill. Yes, Add New Fill. Top Window Appearance. And choose Add New Fill. On the fill you're going to put this above the stroke and for the color we're going to choose an orange color. We're also going to go back and change the color of our stars to orange stroke to f match it. How do we do that one? Okay. And the stroke of Blamo is going to be black. And we're going to choose a four point stroke for Blamo. No dash line for Blamo. And in stroke, we're going to change the opacity down to 60%. So notice, of course you guys know how to change the opacity of a fill, but did you know you can change the opacity of the stroke as well? So to do that is in the appearance tab under stroke, click on that color and then change the opacity at the top here to 60. So now we have our Blamo. So uh, go ahead, copy Blamo. And we're going to go ahead and put that into our uh, Snowboard 01 file right here. So maximize it, Command O0 so it looks bigger. Um, go to your layers and go to your background layer. And we're going to paste it. Place Blamo. And move Blamo to the side, out of, out of the way for now, because we don't need it yet. Um, you also want to group it. Remember Command G to group Blamo? And I'm going to hide the background layer so it's out of our way for now. Okay, right now we have Aqua logo. This is a made-up company. Um, but basically, we're going to decide on its colors or recolor it. First of all, with the out the outward uh, line selected, we're going to uh, fill it with a blue color. Okay. So let's go ahead and select the blue color. Um, 
again under our appearance we can go to add new fill and then change the black to a color now with a color you can specify a specific color and that's what we're going to be doing so under color the first number is going to be 90 and they hit tab and then 60 and tab 0 and tab and 0 and tab and now we got our blue color now with that color we're gonna click that color see on the top we're gonna click it and we're gonna drag it down to our swatches okay and then we're gonna call that logo blue So our swatches. Whenever I hear the word swatch, I think of the commercials, don't mess with a Sasquatch. The, the beef jerky commercials, have you guys seen those? Okay, now click on natural energy. We're gonna change that to uh, yellow. Uh, to get this yellow, we're gonna go under swatches, click on the triple line arrow thing right there. Click on open swatch library. <laughs> we're gonna choose color books, color books. And we're gonna choose Pantone solid, coded. Coded. And we're gonna choose the Pantone 116C. It's right in the middle, right there. And we're gonna take that color and drag it into our swatches. Don't mess with the Sasquatch. And we're gonna make that color yellow and get rid of our stroke. And the little line in the Q is also gonna be that color as well. So it should look like that. Okay, now if we have a project that we're gonna be working on and we wanna use the same colors over and over, instead of making the same colors or trying to find them, you can create your own folder of colors. So go ahead and click on new group under in swatches. And we're gonna call this logo colors. And notice that it took that first color we made or placed in the Pantone. We're also gonna click logo blue. Now guys watch, this is how you add the color to your folder. You click and you drag it to the folder. Do not drag it to the white space. Drag it to the folder. And then it'll be added in there. So if, when you save the file, it'll save these colors as well. So you don't have to find the colors you need all the time. You can build your own set of colors to work with. We're also gonna be adding, you see it says K90 for the gray. Click on the gray 90 and add that to our colors as well. So you should have three colors now. Okay, so.